do you feel delayed? And do you often think you can never make it in this life? You're not alone. There are a lot of people like you other that feels the same, but today I will sharing with you seven formidable signs God is changing your life for the better, and, and I am going to release a very powerful prayer for you in the matchless name of Jesus Christ. Kindly watch till the end. Believe and open your heart to receive the blessings that comes with this prayer. Please like, comment, share this video with others. Leave your prayer requests and we will pray with you. In the journey of life, it's easy to feel overwhelmed by the uncertainties and challenges we face. But amidst it all, there's a comforting truth we can hold on to. God is actively at work in our lives, shaping our stories according to His divine plan. Let's explore this truth through the lens of scripture and real-life examples. The Bible is filled with promises assuring us of God's constant presence and involvement in our lives. One such verse is found in Philippians 1 verse 6, which declares, being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. This verse reminds us that God isn't finished with us yet. He's continually working in us, molding us into the image of his Son. Throughout the Bible, we see numerous examples of God's active involvement in the lives of his people. Take the story of Joseph, for instance. Despite facing betrayal, slavery, and imprisonment, God was at work behind the scenes, orchestrating events to fulfill his purposes. In the end, Joseph was able to declare to his brothers, You intended to harm me, but God intended it for good, Genesis 50 verse 20. Similarly, consider the life of David. Before he became king, David spent years fleeing from King Saul, facing danger and uncertainty at every turn. Yet, through it all, God was preparing him for his eventual reign. As David later wrote in Psalm 138 verse 8, The Lord will fulfill his purpose for me. Your steadfast love, O Lord, endures forever. Do not forsake the work of your hands. Just as God worked in the lives of Joseph and David, he continues to work in the lives of his children today. Think about the times when things seemed hopeless or when you faced insurmountable challenges. In hindsight, you may recognize how God was at work, guiding your steps and bringing about his purposes. Perhaps you've experienced unexpected doors opening, divine interventions, or moments of clarity amidst confusion. These are all signs of God's handiwork in your life. Even during seasons of waiting or adversity, trust that God is at work, using every circumstance for your ultimate good and His glory. As we journey through life's ups and downs, let's hold fast to the assurance that God is indeed working in our lives. Let's anchor our faith in His promises, knowing that He who began a good work in us will bring it to completion. So, take heart dear friend, and trust in the one who holds your future in his hands. As Romans 8 verse 28 reminds us, and we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. These seven signs will show you how God is positioning your life for the better. 1. Divine Alignment Have you ever had those times when everything just clicks? Like, everything falls into place like magic? That's what folks call divine alignment. It's when you feel like the universe or God, if you believe in that, has got your back and is lining things up just right. You know, those moments when you're thinking about something and suddenly, out of the blue, the perfect opportunity shows up? Or when you meet someone who ends up changing your life, seemingly out of nowhere. It's like a puzzle and all the pieces just fit together without any effort on your part. There's this verse in Proverbs, it goes like, People may make plans in their minds, but the Lord decides what they will do. Basically saying, we might have our ideas and all, but ultimately, it's up to a higher power to steer us in the right direction. So, when things line up like that, it's like a little nudge from above, letting us know we're on the right track. It's pretty cool when you think about it. 
kind of like having a secret helper guiding you through life's twists and turns. So, next time things fall into place out of the blue, maybe it's worth taking a moment to appreciate the divine handiwork behind it all. 2. Inner peace amidst chaos. Life gets crazy, right? It throws all sorts of stuff at you, and sometimes, it feels like you're drowning in chaos. But here's the thing. Even in the middle of all that madness, there's this incredible sense of calm that comes from a higher power. You know those moments when you should be freaking out, but instead, you feel strangely at peace? That's what folks call inner peace amidst chaos. It's like a little bubble of tranquility that surrounds you, keeping you steady when everything else is spinning out of control. There's this verse in Philippians that talks about it, saying something like, God's peace is so awesome, it's beyond what our minds can even grasp, and it'll keep your heart and mind safe and sound. Basically, it's saying that even when life is throwing its worst at you, God's got your back, providing this incredible sense of peace that just doesn't make sense. It's like a shield, protecting you from all the craziness around you. So, next time you're in the middle of a storm and you're feeling oddly calm, maybe it's worth taking a moment to recognize that it's not just luck or coincidence. It's a sign that something bigger is at work, watching over you and keeping you steady. It's pretty comforting, don't you think? Knowing that no matter what life throws your way, there's this constant source of peace that you can always rely on. 3. Unexpected Blessings You ever have those moments when something awesome happens out of the blue? Like, totally unexpected blessings that just make your day? Well, according to believers, that's God's way of giving you a high five. He loves to surprise us with these little gifts that show up when we least expect them. It could be anything, really, maybe you're stressing about money, and then bam, you get a bonus at work that covers all your bills. Or perhaps you're stuck in a tough spot, and suddenly, a friend appears out of nowhere to help you out. It's like God saying, hey, I've got your back, don't worry. There's this verse in Luke that talks about it, basically saying that if you're generous and give freely, you'll get even more in return. It's like a cosmic boomerang, what you put out there comes back to you, but multiplied. So, those unexpected blessings? They're just reminders that God's looking out for you, making sure you've got everything you need and then some. They're like little love notes from the universe, saying, Hey, I see you, and I've got something special just for you. It's pretty cool when you think about it, right? Knowing that there's this unseen force working behind the scenes to make your life a little brighter. So, next time you get one of those unexpected blessings, maybe take a moment to say thanks, not just for the gift itself, but for the reminder that you're never alone in this crazy journey called life. 4. Confirmation through Scripture Ever had those moments when you're reading the Bible and it's like the words jump off the page and hit you right in the heart? Yeah. That's what folks call confirmation through scripture. It's like God reaching out to you through those ancient words, giving you exactly what you need to hear in that moment. You know, like when you're going through a tough time, and then you stumble upon a verse that feels like it was written just for you. It's not just luck, it's a divine message, tailor-made for your situation. There's this verse in Hebrews that talks about it, saying that God's word is alive and kicking, sharper than any fancy sword. It's like a spiritual x-ray, digging deep into your soul and laying bare your thoughts and feelings. So, when you come across a verse that hits you like a ton of bricks, it's not just a coincidence, it's God speaking directly to you. It's pretty amazing when you think about it, right? Knowing that the creator of the universe is taking the time to communicate with you through these ancient texts, so, next time you're feeling lost or confused, maybe crack open that dusty old Bible and see what God has to say. You might just find the answers you've been searching for staring back at you from the pages. 5. Spiritual Growth and Transformation You ever notice how life's like a big old garden, and we're all just seeds planted by a divine gardener? Yeah, 
That's what folks say about spiritual growth and transformation. It's like God's tending to us, nurturing us, and helping us grow into the best versions of ourselves. So, as we let go of trying to control everything and trust in His plan, something amazing starts to happen. We start seeing changes in ourselves, kind of like how a seed sprouts and turns into a beautiful flower. You know that verse in Galatians that talks about the fruits of the Spirit? Love, joy, peace, patience, all that good stuff? Well, those are like the blossoms on the tree of our lives, showing that God's at work within us. Each time we show a little more love, or find a bit more peace in the chaos, it's like a signpost saying, Hey, God's doing some serious gardening here. It's pretty cool, huh? Knowing that every step we take towards becoming better people is all part of God's grand plan for us. So, the next time you feel yourself growing and changing, take a moment to appreciate it. It's not just you getting older, it's you becoming more like the person God created you to be. And who knows, maybe one day, you'll look back and see just how far you've come, thanks to a little divine intervention. 6. Divine Connections Ever notice how some people just come into your life at the perfect time, like they were sent from above? Yeah, that's what folks call divine connections. It's like God's playing matchmaker, putting the right people in your path to help you grow and navigate this crazy journey called life. You know those friends who always seem to know exactly what to say to lift your spirits or give you that extra push when you need it? Well, they're not just random encounters, they're part of God's plan for you. There's this verse in Ecclesiastes that talks about it, saying how it's better to have someone by your side than to go it alone. And it's true, isn't it? Having someone to lean on when things get tough can make all the difference in the world. So, when you meet someone who just gets you, who walks alongside you in your faith journey, it's like a little glimpse of heaven right here on earth. It's like God saying, Hey, I know life can be rough sometimes, but you're not alone. I've got your back. So, the next time you're feeling grateful for a friend who's been there for you through thick and thin, take a moment to thank God for bringing them into your life. After all, they're not just a coincidence. They're a gift straight from above. 7. Unwavering Hope You ever been in a tough spot, feeling like you're stuck in a storm with no end in sight? Well, according to believers, there's this thing called unwavering hope that can keep you steady even when the world's falling apart around you. It's like this anchor for your soul, grounding you in the midst of chaos. See, it's not just wishful thinking or crossing your fingers and hoping for the best, it's a deep-down confidence in God's promises. You know that verse in Romans that talks about it? It's like a prayer, asking for God to fill us up with joy and peace as we put our trust in Him, so much so that our hope overflows like a cup runneth over. It's pretty powerful stuff, really. Knowing that no matter what life throws your way, God's got your back and He's working behind the scenes to make things right. So. Even when things look bleak and it feels like you're at the end of your rope, there's still this glimmer of hope shining through the darkness. It's like a beacon, guiding you through the storm and reminding you that brighter days are ahead. So, the next time you're feeling overwhelmed or hopeless, maybe take a moment to tap into that unwavering hope. Trust that God's got a plan, even if you can't see it yet. Who knows? Maybe that hope will be just what you need to weather the storm and come out stronger on the other side. As we go through life's ups and downs, let's keep our eyes peeled for the signs that God's right there with us, doing His thing. Whether it's those moments when everything falls into place just right, or when we feel an unexplainable sense of calm, or even when we're surprised by unexpected good stuff, God's showing up in all sorts of ways. And hey, Sometimes he speaks to us through the words of the Bible, or helps us grow into better versions of ourselves, or puts just the right people in our lives when we need them most. It's like he's leaving breadcrumbs for us to follow, leading us closer to him. So, let's stay open to his guidance, trusting that he's not done with us yet. 
After all, he's the one who started this whole journey in the first place, and he's promised to stick with us until the very end. Amen to that. Mark 11 verse 24 says, Therefore I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you will have them. Join me as we go to the Lord in prayer. Open your heart and believe so that the blessings of this prayer will come to you. Say this prayer with faith. Dear Heavenly Father, We humbly come before you today. You are the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You, the Lord, you created the earth and the heavens, and all that is in them. I give you all the praise and glory. Thank you God for everything you have done in my life. I'm grateful for the good things and even the tough times. You've been with me through it all, and for that, I say thank you from the bottom of my heart. God of mercy and compassion, please look with pity on me. I know I have sinned against you. I ask for your forgiveness. Father, Lord, have mercy on my mistakes and failures. Every mistake I have done in word, action, and deeds, Father, forgive me. For your word clearly says in 1 John 1 verse 9, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Thank you Lord Jesus for forgiving me. Now in the name of Jesus I declare the power of God against any work of the enemy. Every secret agenda the devil and his cohorts have plotted against me be destroyed in Jesus' mighty name. Father, your word said Christ was manifested that the works of the enemy might be destroyed. Every work of the enemy against my marriage, my job, my business, my career, my family, and children, be destroyed in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' name, I declare fruitfulness in every area of my life. Let the power of Christ touch my life so I bear fruit. I am fruitful in my life, in my ministry, in my marriage, in my business, in my career, in my job, and in my finances, for the Lord gives us power to make wealth. Let prosperity be my portion in Jesus' name. I will not lack but have an abundance. Lord, I want to serve you with all my heart. Anything that hinders my service, Father, deliver me. God, save me from myself, save me from people who will not lead me to you, save me from desires which are not godly, things which are not in line with your word. Father, help me obey your word. Sometimes the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Lord, make me strong, make me fervent in you. Restore unto me, Lord, the joy of my salvation. Father, restore all the things I have lost, either by my ignorance or carelessness. You said in your word that the years the locust has eaten in our lives, you will restore us. Thank you, Lord, for restoring me, my family, my marriage, my career, and my ministry. Father, you sent forth your word to heal our diseases and sicknesses. I declare your healing from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. Father, heal my family, friends, and loved ones. Let your healing be their portion too. I boldly declare that I am a child of God. I walk in victory through faith. I am the head and never the tail. I am what God says I am in Jesus' mighty name. I boldly declare Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He mocketh me to lie down in green pastures, he letteth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul, he letteth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. 
Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Thank you, my Father God, for hearing my prayer and answering my prayer. Amen. As this message has blessed you, type the word Amen in the comment section and share with us your testimony too in the comment section. In the name of Jesus Christ, all these blessings have come upon you now. Beloved, help us spread the gospel of Christ and reach more people all over the world by liking this video and sharing this message with your family, friends, and loved ones. We really appreciate your great support. We plead with you to subscribe so you can receive more videos that will revive your spirit and uplift your life. Christ came that all people will be saved. If you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, this is the right time to do so. Say this after me. Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and because of me, you came to die on the cross of Calvary. Father, forgive me of all my sins. Today, I boldly declare that you are my Lord and personal Savior. Come into my heart and lead me. As you have said this prayer, congratulations you have been born again. Please look for a pastor in a Bible-believing church and tell him you have given your life Christ. You will need to fellowship with other believers to learn about your new life. Prayer is a very powerful tool God has given us. With prayer our problems receive solution and we get comforted by God. Please leave your prayer request in the comment section. We are constantly interceding on your behalf before God. Trust me friends, our God will answer your every prayer request. Sometimes we may not reply to your prayer request in the comment section, but that does not mean we are not praying for you. We have you at heart in your requests. May the grace of our Jesus Christ and the love of God be with you now and forevermore. Amen.